All righty. Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. We are looking at Notebook LM and specifically the new studio feature called Data Tables. And so if we go to the keyword, which is the blog for Google, it tells you that you can now organize your insights with data tables in new Notebook LM. And this is from December 18th, 2025. It says valuable information is rarely neat. Key facts are often scattered, making manual compilation tedious. And so it just breaks down what you can do. And um, down here it says, here are some ways to use them. Turn meeting transcripts into clean table of action items. Synthesize clinical trial outcomes. Prepare for exams with study tables of historical events. Plan your dream vacation. And then data tables will be available to all pro and ultra users starting today and to all users in the upcoming weeks. And that's usually one of the first questions when everybody um, sees all these new features and everybody goes to the site, they wanna see all the cool stuff and then you don't have access to it. So I definitely am one of the ones that seems to have to wait a little bit, but I do have a pro account. So let's go ahead and try it. So I already have a notebook open and I have a, notebook about Gemini apps and subscription limits and features. And so over here, I have a couple things that I had already done. And if you look in the studio section, you will see a new feature called data table. And so of course you can just click on it, which I'm going to do. And it will start generating the data table. And I'm also going to do another one and I'm going to click on the pencil to edit my, um, Request. So I already have something pre planned. And so basically, I'm asking please create a checklist of the various tiers that a regular consumer may be interested in day to day activities and fun. Please break down how much consumers get access to when it comes to the various tiers. And so let me do this. It's actually not a checklist, it's more of a table. I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. I have noticed that the tables seem to generate pretty quickly after the first one. So this is the one that I didn't make any special requests for. So let me go ahead and click on that while the other one's generating. And let me expand it and look at this. It has a lot of information. So the default table name is Google Gemini AI 2025 pricing and model comparison. So it shows the model, the plan name, the usage tier, input pricing per 1 million tokens, output pricing per 1 million tokens, context, caching and storage costs, grounding costs, key features or use cases, billing type and source and the sources are in the um, references. All right, so we are, let's just check real quick. We have Gemini Pro, we have some API ones, and then we have the consumer subscriptions, consumer script, subscription, API, 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 uh, business subscription, developer tool, media modality, I don't know what that means, media modality, Okay, for images and for v, uh, VO3. All right, then you, again, we have the input pricing. So, and then down here are the references. So if you look over here and it says reference three and 14, reference three is an article, architectural and economic analysis. And then the other one was 14, Gemini Pro prices is advanced worth it. All right, and then, so let's go ahead and close this. And let's close this and let's get to the next one. So that would be this one, consumer tiers and access comparison. So let's click on that real quick. Let's expand it. And this one's a little bit smaller because I asked it to focus on consumer. And so we have the free Gemini app. We have the Google AI Pro, also known as Gemini Advanced. We have Google AI Ultra. We have the developer API free tier and the developer API paid tier. And then it goes into the target audience. And so I'll go to the pro one, individual professionals, students and researchers requiring higher productivity, gives you the general cost, tells you what model access, which is Gemini 3 Pro for, so you have a priority for that, Gemini 2.5 Pro VO2, VO3.1 fast, and tells you how many tokens, and this is probably what most people are usually looking for. And then it says key features and bundles, Gemini Workspace, Google Docs and Gmail, Notebook LM Plus, five times the limit, deep research, deep think, 
productivity planner, Jim. I have to look that one up. Google Home Premium. And then the data privacy, personal account data silos, usage-based improvement may apply per general terms unless opted out. All right, so that gives you a lot of information. Now the next thing is, how do you export it? So you can actually export it here, but you can also go here and export here. So you can actually export it to Sheets, and I think it kind of comes in as a CSV, so you might have to come in here and create your own table. And so you can convert it to a table, and then you can play with it a little bit and do what you want. So let's do one more, let's see. Let's go ahead and analyze the data. I'm not sure what it's going to say, but just for kicks and grins. And let's see what it takes. If it takes too long, I will edit it. If it takes a minute, I will just keep trying to talk. All right, and so here it says, based on the comparison table of Google Gemini, consumer tiers and access, here is an analysis of the key differentiators across the five tiers. And so it breaks down the, the tiers for us. So that's not too bad. I think it's a good feature. If you're really into data, you'll probably like it a little bit more than some of us. And thank you for joining. See you later. Bye-bye.